like, I don't do this stuff normally and I'm so nervous that I'm just messing everything up. But so far, it's worked. So let's hope it stays that way. That turned out sick. Very happy with that. Let's go. So, we have a package from Korea, and that's kind of awesome. Obviously, I opened up already, but let's actually see what's in here. The coolest thing by far is this trainer, and we're gonna look at this in detail because this is so, 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 so cool. These bad boys are for like the towel drill. Boom, here's another one. Towel drill. Sick. Korean socks. Maybe they're better than socks from the US. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, these are interesting. There's still more in here. These are for pitchers and for gripping the baseball, specifically trying to strengthen your grip. The camera is not going to focus on this because it's so white, but there's little seams on here, just like a baseball has. And the whole point is let's say you throw a knuckle curve, you can grip it like this and basically just squeeze down on that grip. The idea is that you're supposed to do this on your own uh, while you're kind of sitting around on the couch to just strengthen your grip. And I believe this one is harder than this one. This one's medium, this one's hard. These are the last two things. These are tornado swing grips. You literally grab like this, go, and basically just try to hold it as long as you can. There's multiple ways to grip and hold, but in the end, you're strengthening this fingers and wrists and forearms for when you're swinging a bat. With both this and the little pitch grips, I'd like to see like, what are the results? How, how, in, how much of an impact does it actually make? Is it a big difference or is it just sort of like this tiny difference? I don't know, but I would like to find out. It's always fun opening mail. It just honestly is fun. I don't care how old I am. I will always absolutely love opening packages. It's like Christmas every single time. Speaking of which, we have one more package to open and I am stoked about this. Boom, let's go. Oh my goodness. The String King Metal 2. This actually is going on our bat wall. Gonna get rid of this one. All right, I know it's super dark back there, but it looks amazing. This is all we care about now. This is a World Pegasus trainer. Nine and a half inches is really tiny. This one's not labeled, but I'm assuming they both are nine and a half. The weirdest thing on this glove by far, everything looks normal until you get to here where you have like the webbed foot looking. Thing. I don't think I mentioned it yet, but this is called the World Pegasus Grand Devil 1093, I think it is. I gotta get my hands on just like a full size World Pegasus and plenty of other Japanese brands out there because they make super, super Super, super nice gloves not just in the baseball world but just like the leather world in general amazing leather comes from Japan and so that's why Japanese gloves kind of stick out as extra special and something that's kind of funny is I've heard that we're super interested in their gloves and they're super interested in our gloves and so it's kind of weird like we like each other's gloves because they're very different then the second thing that is super weird on this is if you look in here there's these little rings right here and here they don't make a ton of sense for this glove specifically but i absolutely love them they're actually pretty dang comfortable and you actually can even tighten them or loosen them because everybody has different finger sizes you don't see that on any american glove so that's like one of my favorite things about this glove by far it's really comfortable very small detail but I love it. You've actually probably seen these before. Wilson uses these on softball gloves, but if you pull on these laces, it tightens the wrist. Very simple system, but it's effective and it makes sense. It's easy to use. The weirdest part of this glove by far is this little duck foot right here, but it serves a purpose. So we're actually gonna take some ground balls and talk about it. Well, somebody better grab my jock strap, lather me up. That was the most beautiful transition we've ever seen. Let's take a look at it right here. Truly stunning. I mean, I can barely tell that that is a transition. I mean, I can tell, but barely, I can barely tell that he edited that in. Back to you, Chris. All right, you guys, this is seriously all we have. MLB lockout, and this is what I'm talking about. Some stupid YouTuber who's got like freaking not even 10,000 subscribers. So the whole point of the fingers, there's two spots that you should be catching the ball. Either right here, or right in here. Basically, if the ball is off to my side, that's where this comes in. You don't have two hands. You really should be catching the ball where everybody catches the ball, where you already do catch the ball. But when you're fielding a ground ball and it's in front of your body, like it's within your frame, that's where you're using two hands. So this is really like a pancake, like a pancake trainer. You should just be using that part of your glove anyway, and just boom, two hands. Your glove should not be closing when you're fielding a ball like that. So instead of catching it like this, you wanna just use that open fingers, boom, ready to throw, super simple. Just come in, boom. You guys, it's little things like that that I see Japanese companies doing more that just US gloves, for some reason, aren't doing. 
I've already said this, but they're prioritizing performance rather than like comfort and whatnot. In the end, there's nothing about this glove that's like crazy different than any other trainer. Like we have the 44 trainer right there. In reality, they're basically the same thing. Just this little difference, little rings right here. It's nice when companies do different things than other companies. Stick out, be different. I'm a big fan. If you guys want to support the channel, go check out BoggleofKing.com. And then also, if you want to look more into trainers, I actually made a video on trainers. So you can click, watch it. I advise that you do. That's it.